Hey everybody, welcome back to the Truck Driver Sean YouTube channel. Today we have an amazing amp by a great builder here in the United States of America. Um, the company is called Armored Amplification and this is the third rendition of the Sabo. It is what they're calling the Gen 3. Um, things that are different on this one, everything's kind of like a little bit refined. And on this model, you actually can get mods done before it gets shipped to you. You want extra gain, which I don't know why you would ever want it. Well, I guess this has the one gain stage bump in it. And it's it's got ridiculous gain. But then again, I've had version 1, and I had version 1 converted to version 2. And now I have the generation 3 sitting here. And this thing is possibly going to be pretty awesome. But right now I got everything at noontime. And we're going to... Uh, We're just gonna have some fun, all right? It's pretty much that simple. We're just gonna have some fun. Okay, so let's uh, let's just see what it sounds like right out the gate, okay? All right, here we go. All right, as you can tell, that's everything at noontime, all switches down. It, it's crazy. <laughs> it's just bananas. Like literally, it could just have a volume knob on it at this point, couldn't it? I mean, really. At the end of the day, it could just have a volume knob. I mean, yeah, we boost everything, right? But really, if this is what you had for a tone and it just had a volume knob, you could play all kinds of genres with it, like crazy amounts. So yeah, so what we're gonna do now is, uh, let's test that theory of doing doing some, um, some genres without touching anything. I'm just gonna sit here and just kind of goof off. This is where everything gets demonetized in a hurry, all right? All right, here we go.
So, look at that. We have everything at noontime, and it sounded that freaking good. <clears throat> I'm in standard tuning, drop D, by the way. So, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's take a just with the game. We're going to leave the sound structure the same right across the board. So, you have two gains. One of them is a very sharp and dry gain. Sort of like uh, what gain is supposed to be. It kind of just manipulates the signal, right? And the second gain adds saturation. So you have like a dry gain and a saturated gain. And you can work them together to kind of get your own little flavor, we'll call it. <coughs> yeah, that didn't sound good, did it? All right, so... <laughs> We're gonna play with the game. <laughs> yes, mate. We're gonna play with the game. Okay. <laughs>
So that is uh, a <clears throat> Jesus. That is gain stage uh, or gain one. So we put gain one all the way back to uh, noon time. So now we gotta deal with gain two. Here comes the gain two.
All right, so that was gain two. So now we're just gonna start manipulating the two of them. We haven't even touched the tone stack yet. Like the tone stack is, everything's at noon time. Haven't even bothered with it. This has already proven to be quite the versatile amp, isn't it? So let's uh, tinker with no agenda with the gains, right? I'm just gonna play the same riff and I'm just gonna throw it at the wind, man. Just gonna heave it, have a good time. Gonna make an asshole of myself. All right, here we go. All right, so I kind of found my happy point with the with the gain. So on gain one, we are rolling about 75%, and on gain two, we're sitting literally like, ask your mom to bring a pube out of her underwear, and it's about that long. Well, depends on whose mom, who's watching this and whose mom it is. Okay, so just a smidge. Just a smidge. All right. So now we're gonna play around with the tone stack. We got some switches here. Uh, focus, shape, mode, and bright. All right. So uh, yeah, let's play with some switches. All right, so the first switch we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the focus. Here we go. <laughs> Yep, that's awesome. Pretty much I'm almost where I need to be just by flicking that switch up. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna leave that up. Just, just well, you know what, we'll, we'll flick it back down. We'll flick it back down. Now we're gonna play with the shape. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yup, that's pretty awesome too. We're gonna flick that down. <laughs> and now is the mode. So here we go. Shit, that knob's pretty good too, isn't it? Now the awesome, awesome, awesome bright switch. <laughs> I love the amps have bright switches now. All right, here we go. All right, so we have a really unique amp here in the fact that it's master on its tone stack, gives you a lot of stuff that you'll recognize, but then it gives you something that you don't really get in many amps, and that is an attack switch. Now what the attack does is kind of like, it dries it up a little bit, makes it a little sharp. So if you're playing extended range, or if you just like me and you like super tight chugging shit, it's gonna make a huge difference. So the first thing we're gonna play with is that attack knob. Right now it's at 50%, so we're gonna play a riff on 50%. I am gonna drop it all the way down, and then I'm gonna move it all the way up and return back to 50%. I have ADD, so I am trying to play the same riff over and over again, but um, yeah, I suck. Sorry. ADD is real, and I'm not medicated for it, because I like it.
So, as you can tell, that attack knob, really? You start to put all these pieces together, and you start to notice something, right? You're starting to notice. You are. This will give tweakers a raging boner, because you can do anything you want. All right, so we had mentioned going over the, the tone stack. So again, I'm just gonna flavor it, okay? Because really, at the end of the day, it doesn't need much flavoring at all, really. But I'm gonna play with switches, I'm gonna play with the tone stack. We're gonna get this thing kind of dialed into like my happy space. And then I'm gonna show you the magic switch in the back. Magic switch in the back of the armor. Save World Generation 3. Yeah! All right. I need, I need medication. All right, let's do this shit.
so in the back, <clears throat> have a fat switch. I'm fat. I have a fat switch. Just ask your mom. Let's see what the amp does. <laughs> You just got room audioed. <laughs> I forgot to turn the goddamn vocal mic off. But you know what? It happens. It happened. It happened to you. All right. So we're gonna talk about this tone stack a little bit, all right? So this tone stack is absolutely ridiculous. You can do so much stuff. So as you can tell by flicking that fat switch in the back, you kind of go from like a modern, really in your face, pushed, crazy over the top to kind of like your modern voice, uh, your vintage voicing. Sort of like harkening back to like the old plexi days where it was a boosted plexi and you know, like something that, you know, like running a clean boost into a, an old Marshall 1919, I think is what they were called. I don't know. Whatever the fuck Angus Young uses. Like basically it's a clean amp, but if you push it, it sounds like you know, ACDC. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is we're just going to just turn some knobs. We're going to play around with the resonance and the presence. Just to give you an idea what they do. And then the bass, the sweep, the middle. You know the deal. Do you want just room audio and I can just talk you through it? No, you want you want good audio. Because you just got fucked and got some classic rockers like... Probably obnoxiously loud because every mic in the fucking place is going at once. <laughs> yeah. I don't edit, folks, so you fucking stuck with it. All right, here we go.
I mean, really, the tone, I, the tonal options are ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let's grab a seven string and see what it does if we go a little lower. Get low, get low, get low. Get the seven string. <laughs> okay, so we're back now with seven string. By the way, the guitars I use today are my signature Deviant guitars. They're called the Linchpin. Go check them out. Pretty affordable considering they're US made. So, yeah. Check it out. Okay, so um, we got the seven string. We're just gonna we're just gonna go ham on it here for a minute, all right? Just gonna have to deal with it, man. <laughs> here we go. <laughs>
go, man. Some seven string action. I'm already gonna turn the knobs. We already did all that. You can see no pedals, no nothing. You can tell the hum because it needs a noise gate because it's high gain. It needs a noise gate. All right, this thing fucking rips. Okay, Bob. Tell you what, son. Fucking thing rips. Um, it's a growth. That's one thing I can say about Armored. Is uh, when when James gets in there and he starts messing around, he doesn't just go. Well, I'm just going to change the property of this one little thing and then go, this is another version. This one here, he literally, from the ground up, redid the whole entire circuitry of the Sabo. And I'm going to say it runs really smooth. And all the functions, if you're a fan of the previous work, are there. And none for nothing, it's a lot of fun. It really is. And that, kind of that high fizzy thing that was in version one and version two that uh it's kind of like a trademark thing but for people like myself it, it was a little tough um to knock that down is gone it that you can put it there like you can dial it in but uh literally everything you just heard was with the bright off i mean <laughs> seriously this thing is it's a monster with no pedals it's just a monster. All right. Huge thanks to Armored Amplification for sending this out to me. I mean, I'm nobody. And I was the second person to get my hands on this. I, I don't know how to thank you for that. That is, that's badass. <laughs> and uh, huge thanks to, uh, to my boy Fluff and his crew for getting that out really well. It's packaged good. It's shipped good. Flawless execution there. Very cool, and um, if you want to see like a professional video ton, go check out Fluffs. Mine's all over the place because literally I just plugged it in and I went. You're watching me check this amp out. Yeah, I kind of, these aren't as much demo videos as they are like chronicles of me turning on gear. Yeah, all right, for all information, pertaining to this, go to armoredamplification.com. You can track them down on Instagram. You can track them down on the Facebook, you know, and on his website. All right? These start out, the base model is $2,500. And some people go, oh my God, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of fucking amp. <laughs> it's in blackout, but you can, if you don't want the blackout, you can get that in the classic black and silver armored my favorite the same i like to be able to read it and with it blacked out it just looks like there's nothing there mm -hmm. yep that's it all right very cool guitars used for my deviant signature guitars six and seven string lynch pins if you want them yeah get a hold of deviant guitars that dude loves to build guitars and uh he a busy some bitch you're gonna have to get in line at this point he's starting to ramp himself up and uh, he's a new builder, so uh, he is learning the business as he's going, and he's a good dude. So if you go there on my behest, do not be a dick to the man, because I love Royce Ray to death. He's a good dude. And same thing with the armored guys. You know, don't give James a hard time, please. He's been helping defend our country for a very long time. So yeah, very cool. Thanks again, Armored, for sending this out. And uh, if anybody has any questions, please, as you always know, you can contact me anytime via Instagram or Facebook, Truck Driver Sean. You can contact me through, you can leave a, leave a comment and I'll answer it down below. Okay? Pretty easy. Truck Driver Sean. Sean is spelled S-H-A-W-N. Okay? If you can't spell truck and driver, uh, I can't help you. I can spell it, but um, kids can't watch my videos because I say bad words about your mom and stuff. So if you can't spell truck or driver, I love you just the same, but I can't help you. I can't. I can't. It will drive me crazy. <laughs> All right. Keep music evil. Bring metal to the children. Don't be a dick. Subscribe to my shit. Thanks, everybody. See you in the next video. Later.